Okay, when I left off, I had only done four strips on this here leading edge bow for the uh, horizontal, horizontal stabilizer, and I wouldn't recommend stopping partway through. Now, I'm in very poor health, and I didn't have the energy to keep going. That's why I did it. But I had to lift this off, excuse me, and, uh, and then clean up this here side from any glue that was running out and hardened and then clean up all that glue then put it back in against these nails and put new plastic down first had to replastic the whole thing anyways I got it to full thickness now and then I took my saw outside sawed up a bunch of quarter inch stock and uh, sawed the uh, the angled uh, angle on the back side of the it's actually sitting in there just like this saw it an angle on the back side of this board here because that's the hinging action motion for the um, uh, elevator and really I want to show processes more than anything such as creative clamping now on this side I took a little piece of that angled block and clamped it over a nail on this side now that nails not touching here it's a little bit beyond it you can't really see that to hold it up into here and then that that their clamp is keeping it from going too far forward and that's right in place but on this other end this block I couldn't keep it from pushing up or lifting that when I clamped it so but it's it's doing real good just clamping it from that nail you know and just kind of at it sitting at an angle like that and holding it in it's not real tight you don't do a lot of real tight clamping you don't want to squeeze glue out of a joint now you don't want a lot of glue in the joint but you don't want to squeeze it all out also uh, always dry fit everything there's no glue here there's no glue on any of this other stuff. I'll wait till I get all of these cut. And then I will, well, not only that, I, but also all these gussets, uh, all these blocking. And uh, every single corner needs this here blocking. That's a lot of work because they have to be fit tight. Now notice this here doesn't run right along that line. That's gonna be just fine. Um, that little bit of difference. This one here is going to fit almost perfectly in place. <clears throat> so I've got to cut these ones and then after I do that I've got a dry fit blocking that's going to like be snug in every single corner here. And then then I can glue it all together and that'll be some more creative clamping you know trying to hold stuff in in place and uh, I'll show you, once I get that clamped up, I'll show you how that goes. But I've got a lot of work to do cutting and fitting. You know, uh, cutting and probably with my sander mostly. Just getting them to fit in there so that they're nice and snug. And then we'll be ready to glue.